How's it going everyone and welcome back to LT3D. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new range of products from the company Coprint. Now if you haven't heard of Coprint before, they're a company that specializes in multicolor solutions for 3D printers and their new range that we'll be looking at today seems to be a multicolor solution for all 3D printers. Let's talk about it. All right, so their new Series 2 range or Chroma range consists of three products, uh, CX1 Extruder, Chroma Head, and the Chroma Pad. Now from a brief look, the Chroma Pad looks like a touchscreen display that can be connected to a printer. The Chroma Head looks like a multicolor print head, similar to what was released on the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini, and the X1 Extruder looks like an ordinary extruder that feeds filament into the print head. But enough of brief looks, let's dive into what these products can really do. Now I'm not going to cover everything about these products because that would be a very long video, so I'm just going to touch on essentially the main features that I think are important in these products, and I'll link below the product pages so you can go have a look at them yourselves if you're interested. Alright, so the Chroma Pad isn't just a glorified touchscreen display, it's the heart of what they're calling the Chroma Set, and um, it is a multi-filament, not just multi-color, a multi-filament enabled clipper-based 3D printing pad, which is powerful enough to control up to 8 printers while also giving them a boost in speed, uh, which I think is, is very cool, and I have already backed their Kickstarter campaign, as I would like to upgrade my artillery Sidewinder X1, boost the speed, add multicolor, 300 by 300 by 400. Sounds like exactly whatever I was from Bamboo Lab, but I might be able to get it here. <laughs> it is equipped with a large I.O. including three USB ports, five stepper motor connections, and dedicated connection ports for their chroma head, input shape sensor, and multi-filament module. The Chroma Pad also has a really cool remote control feature, which I'm very keen on, that allows you to manage your projects from your phone, PC, or tablet, and it provides you with model previews, user-defined macro options, real-time monitoring of your printer with a camera, and easy time-lapse shooting for your prints. Which I am definitely happy about because one of the reasons I went with the X1 Carbon in the first place was because it had a built-in camera which did time-lapsing and made it really easy. So the fact that uh, you can just hook up a USB camera by the sounds of it to it uh, means I can repurpose some older webcams I have and use that as my camera. Wicked. Now the Chroma Head is a multi-material print head that is compatible with a wide range of 3D printers. It can be attached to all Cartesian style 3D printers with linear rails as well as printers that use rods and bearings. The print head has a max nozzle temp of 350 degrees Celsius and features rapid heating and cooling capabilities. This high temperature capability gives you the ability to print engineering materials such as ABS, ASA, PLACF, and more. Obviously, uh, ABS and ASA, depending on the printer, you may need to have an enclosure for it or make your own enclosure. Uh, me putting it on the uh, artillery sidewinder, we'll see. When I get it, I'll, I'll, I'll test it out. We'll see what happens. Due to Chroma Head's cooling system, advanced heating and high flow rate, you can also increase the speed of your 3D printer up to, from what I can see, is 300 mils per second, which is definitely a good selling point for me. As, like I said before, I'm planning on adding it to my artillery Sidewinder X1, which will double the speed from 150 to 300. Now, the CX1 extruders are titanium geared dual drive extruders designed for fast and colorful 3D printing. Uh, when combined with the Chroma Pad and Chroma Head, you can add up to 20 colors to your 3D prints. Um, to make adding 20 colors to your prints easier, Coprint have also created what they are calling uh, an ECM or Extended Chroma Module, which allows you to add five more extruders to your Chroma Pad via a USB port. If you are interested in the Chroma Set or are after more information on it, then you can check out their Kickstarter campaign now, or uh, I'll link down below their website so you can check out all the product pages for themselves. Uh, just a quick warning, um, Kickstarter campaigns are not definitive, you know, purchases, like things can happen, sometimes they fail, sometimes they succeed, so uh, if you don't have the money lying around to sort of 
put into this project that I wouldn't recommend it. I would just wait until the product is fully released and then um, potentially purchase it then. That's about it for this video. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the Chroma set and whether you're interested in getting one yourselves in the comments down below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, as always, happy printing.